all right guys welcome back to day 19 in this video we are going to be learning how to handle the mp3 files and get their length duration in the last video we actually got the length duration or the total length of the dot wave files we can just load them for example i'll just give you an example we can load journey.wav file click on play and then we can see 0107 uh, the time duration or the total length of the music but Mixer.sound is not able to hand mp3 files uh, because they are pretty big and Mixer just doesn't have the functionality, the Pi game Mixer doesn't have the functionality to handle mp3 files. So for that we are going to be using a package known as Mutagen. But first we have to identify whether a file that we are going to play is actually an mp3 file or is actually a .wav file. So if we go to our, uh, let's actually go to open file uh, open and over here difference between the mp3 file and the wave file is that their extensions are different the last three letters over here is uh, or the last four letters you can say is dot mp3 and over here is dot wav so we can identify and uh, if somehow we can extract these last four digits of these file names and basically say hey if uh, this string is equal to dot mp3 then execute the code for mp3 and if the string is dot wave then execute the code for dot wave so how do we do that we do that by using uh, something it's pretty easy we are just going to create a variable called file data and then we are going to write os dot path dot split text and inside this we are just going to write file name and then uh, just to make sure that you guys understand what's happening behind the scenes i'm going to print out file underscore data so for now i'm just going to comment all of this stuff out and i'm just going to go to run main and go to file go to open and let's say i see fire i'm going to play and you can see in the console it says the directory where the file is there and it says in the second uh, second uh, if, if you can imagine this is kind of a list so file underscore data has uh, is kind of a list and the second element of this list is dot mp3 and the first element is the path so what we are going to do is we are going to take the first element because in list this is the zeroth element and dot mp3 that is the extension will be stored in the first element or the first index of the list so we are just going to write in, let's remove this out actually uh, yeah let's remove this out and uh, we'll say if file underscore data and one because this is the first index and the first index is dot mp3 is equal to equal to dot mp3 mp3 then uh, do the basic uh, mp3 stuff else if it's uh, maybe dot wave or dot ogg then mixer.sound can handle this file and we can just use the below code so we are what we're gonna do is we are gonna uncomment it out and we're gonna paste both of these lines over over let's give it a little bit of intent uh, over here so total length and this is giving us an error because it's saying in if the local total length has hasn't been defined so let's fix that what we are going to do is import the package called mutagen so i'm going to go to file go to settings if you're not using pycharm uh, just pip install mutagen so let me just search for mutagen and this is the mutagen it says read and write audio tags for many formats so just install the package i've already installed it as you can see in my list mutagen so i'm not going to install it again so what we are basically doing is what what we are planning to do is if i go to let's say downloads over here if i go to ic fire on the right hand side you can see it shows us the length of four minute for 59 seconds and if i go to the property and go to details it says shows us the length four minute and 59 seconds now this inside a music file is known as the metadata so what we are gonna do with mutagen is that we are gonna extract the metadata from inside the file and every file has this length metadata inside it so it's definitely gonna be there in, in this dot wave file it's, it's also there although we are not using for dot wave files because they are too small and we can easily use dot uh, sound functionality to extract 
the time of uh, or the length of that file so over here we are just going to write from mu.gen dot mp3 import and then in capital mp3 and this will help us uh, extract the metadata and over here we are going to do the mp3 stuff so we can just write audio equals to uh, maybe mp3 and inside this we are just going to use the file name file name and then to get the inf uh, get the length of the file name we can just be like uh, total length equals to audio dot info dot length and this will store the total length inside this uh, total length variable so what we have done is in the first line we have uh, first installed the mutagen package and then we have imported the mp3 functionality from this mutagen package and then inside this uh, inside this if condition which basically checks whether the extension or uh, the second element or the first index of this file data is mp3 or not it checks whether the extension is mp3 or not if it's mp3 then it uses this mp3 function to get stored the audio to load the audio and store it inside this audio variable and then we use audio dot info dot length to get the length of the file and we store it inside total underscore length then we go to this uh, it also goes in uh, seconds by the way it's not really in um, it's not in anything else it's in seconds and after that the same thing happens minutes and seconds it divides it and uh, it is basically the same thing there's no difference so let's actually test this out whether it works or not if it doesn't work then it's really bad but i think it's gonna work so we're gonna go to file so first let's just try out the dot wave functionality so that we just see it's working or not all right so the dot wave is working because it's showing us the total length now let's see whether the mp3 functionality is working or not oh all right in mp3 it also says total length is 0 for a minute and 59 seconds congratulations guys we have uh, finally learned how to how to uh, find out the total length of any kind of music file inside our music player and this else condition just doesn't stand for dot wave files it stands for all the other wave files or all the other music files for example ogg etc so this dot sound will be able to handle any other file uh, so guys this is pretty much it for day 19 uh, I'll see you on day 20 where we will be learning about um, Threading and how to find the current duration. So for example if the file is playing how to find the current duration of the time Instead of the total length the current time of or the current position of the music uh, Being played in the background. So I'll see you tomorrow on day 20